So this is going to be a reading for my Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and get straight into the video. Now, if you're new, make sure that you subscribe so that you never miss a beat whenever we post as well as hit the notification bell. Also, if you would like a personal reading, make sure you check out the description box. All my information will be listed there so that you can actually book a session. And feel free to follow me on my uh, social medias. You can follow me on Instagram at Mystical Crystal Tarot or on Twitter at Mystical Crystal, just like how it's spelled here on YouTube. But let's go ahead and get straight into it. First card that we have here is Illumination. So right off the bat, um, something is going to get brought to the light during this time frame. If you were feeling some funny vibes around someone, particularly somebody who you may have been dating or getting to know, this may not even be like a connection that you've been in that long. Um, things are going to be brought to the light in terms of why somebody may be acting weird um, or if somebody recently did ghost you, either this person may be turning up and letting you know why. Uh, they may have ghosted you or at least like a more filtered version of why they may have ghosted you or you'll be figuring out exactly why somebody may have ghosted you. This could be like you looking on their social media and you notice that they may be talking, you know, to their ex again or, you know, that they have dealings with other people. Um, some of you also who may have been like going through a dark moment as far as like being depressed, feeling down, you may find yourself in more higher spirits moving, um, like towards the end of the first half of April. So like more towards like April 10th to like the 15th, you may be finding yourself in more uplifted energy, um, and this is because you're finally seeing things for what it truly is and not, you know, taking this perspective that you're helpless or that you're in a position to where you can't control what's going on around you in a sense. So things start to become more clear for you and then your energy starts to be more uplifted. We also have the intellect card. Interesting. So some of you may be considering possibly going back to school, especially if you may have dropped out because of finances originally, and you may be interested in possibly going back to continue, you know, your studies or some of you, you know, you've never been to college and you may be considering going to school to get an education to get a better job. Um, others of you, you may be wanting to gain more spiritual um, knowledge. This is like understanding the hermetic principles, um, taking the time to like really do the research in terms of like the metaphysical, you may be finding yourself just really intrigued by that. Some of you may be also kind of like learning about divination, like tarot cards, things like that. You may be taking more of an interest to like the occult, pretty much. Um, what else? Some of you. Okay, so the universe is definitely going to be testing some of you on whether or not you really have learned your lesson in terms of the people that you're dating. And when I say this, this isn't like the universe playing cruel jokes on you. This is just to see if you've Learn because you have to understand every experience that we go through is literally so that we can gain wisdom on how we could either be a better person to ourselves or how we can make better decisions overall. So spirit is going to be testing you if you keep having like this reoccurring type of individual come into your life romantically. So this could be like you always attracting people who are a player or always attracting people who don't know what they want. This is like spirit seeing if you've learn to listen to your intuition or if you have a level of discernment and they may bring, you know, some new love offers your way and you may have to use discernment on which partner is more suited for you. And honestly, it's not that hard to really use discernment. You can see if somebody is just, you know, being super sweet at the moment and it's not really who they are in comparison to who they really are.
we also have clarity. So yeah, this is going to also be a really good time in terms of you, like I said, seeing things for what they are, especially if you were taking more of this, I'm so much of a victim to my circumstance mindset um, and subscribing to that. This is you finally seeing where, you know, you could have made better decisions here and where you could have used discernment there and where you should have, you know, removed your energy from this situation a lot sooner or that situation a lot sooner. So it's really interesting. Um, some of you also may have a very enlightening conversation with someone um, again, this isn't limited to a romantic partner, but this conversation may be enlightening in terms of what you need to do moving forward in terms of, again, your love life, but also some major decisions. So this could be like you staying, you know, in your hometown or staying in your home state because you want to, you know, be on, be in a relationship with someone specifically, but you know, you have a conversation with them and they may be letting you know, like, look, I'm not really ready for a relationship. And this gives you the clarity to finally make that move. Okay. Some of you guys may be wanting to do like a love spell to strengthen some sort of relationship with someone. Um, this is like more of a heads up. <laughs> don't do that. Um, especially if you don't know exactly what you're doing, cause you may bind yourself to this person in unknowingly. Okay. Some of you also may have recently did a love spell and it may have actually backfired already. Cause I am kind of seeing that. Hmm. Some of you guys may be getting like really strange dreams coming through during this time frame. Um, these dreams may have like messages from your ancestors or from your spirit guides. Um, make sure I always say this, keep a dream journal next to you in your, uh, by your bed so that you can always be able to write down your dreams right after you wake up. Cause I forget my dreams if I don't write them down. And lately I have not been writing them down. Okay, I think I'm going to stop right here though. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope that there was some message here that you um, resonated with and that I helped anyone out there who may have needed it. Um, if you did enjoy, thumbs this video up. Subscribe, check out the description if you would like a personal reading. And I will see each and every one of you in the next one. Bye.